Hi, welcome back. You'll hear the creak in the background during this video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show something that for single strung harps, double, no matter what kind of harp, this is explosively powerful for improving your ease of playing and your fluidity and the learning process. It's totally amazing. And I learned it five years ago from Nadia Birkenstock of Germany. She's one of my very favorite performers worldwide. And she learned it from her pedal tarp teacher. And she showed it to me and I thought, that's great. And I tried it a couple of times and didn't really work with it. And I just started doing it recently and I am shocked and thrilled at how fast results I'm getting from it. So I want to share it with you too. I decided to name it The Power of And. I'll show you this using the parting glass, the Irish tune, so this tune. That one. So what it is, this tune is, uh, this exercise is pre-placing on the and, and it's just an exercise that you do. This is not how you play, but it will vastly improve your playing and make it easier. You can do this on a tune that you're working on. You don't have to do it on this. So instead of playing it the way I normally would, but I lift off the harp, I place, play that. Instead of that, I'm going to pre-place on the and. So it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. I'm going to do that again, the exercise, and then I'll play that section of the tune and I'll see how it flows differently. One. It helps if you say it out loud. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now I'm just going to play it. And it's easier. Now I'm going to do it with the left hand too. And the chord progression is an E minor, C, G, and A minor. So uh, this is the key of G. So when I would normally just play this, I would float to the next one, play it, float to the next one. And as I come down, I place and then I play. But the exercise is extremely mechanical. It's like a robot. So I'm gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so I'll do it again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and try it one more time. So now I'm not going to play it in that mechanical way. That was the power of and exercise. Now I'm just going to play and it'll be easier. So the placing was accurate. I was relaxed and that is the power of this exercise. So now we're going to do some experimenting with it. Okay, so even advanced players can have a little bit of a problem with the concept of this and how to apply it. So we're going to start very simply and you'll, you'll get it this way. So we're just going to do two notes. We're going to play a third rocking back and forth. So I'm on a C third, C and E. I'm going to play at the C, then I place on it as I pluck the B, place on that as I pluck the, the C. So that's how it would sound. But when you do the power of and exercise, it sounds very mechanical because you pre-place on the and. You're placing too soon. So pluck, place, pluck, place, pluck, place. Sounds very robotic. One and, it helps to say it out loud. One and, two and, three and, four and. 
and it doesn't matter how slow you go, you're still getting your muscle memory to know where to go faster than it normally knows where to go. So, so let's do it together. The C, E, C, E, but we're going to do it with the exercise pre-placing on the end. So it's very robotic. Pluck, place, pluck, place. Okay, so let's count uh, a four beat count. One and, two and, three and, four and, one and, two and, three and, four and. And now just play it. Now do both hands if you're on a double strung here, if you're on a single strung here. One and two and. You can go slower. One and two and three and four and. Or if you want, let's go faster. One, whoops, one and two and three and four and. So do that a little bit and then come back to the video for some more. Now, the advantage of doing it on the, the third is that you could hear when you were placed, you could hear your placing. And we're going to do just a string of rocking thirds going down now. You won't be able to hear the placing on everything. But you want to get really accurate at that. On double, you can echo it, make it like a waterfall. Anyway, it's a string of rocking thirds. You don't ever come off the harp. I've always got a finger on the harp. Pluck, place, pluck, place, pluck, place. Now we're going to place on the end, so this will become easy to do a string of rocking thirds. You won't need to watch the harp. Okay, so we're going to do the E and then the C. Pluck, place on the D. Pluck, place on the B. So now you're going to go pluck, place, pluck, place, pluck, place, pluck, place, pluck, place, pluck, place. And you can count it out loud. You can do it with me. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And now if you're ready to go faster, you can do that, or you can pause the video and keep doing what you're doing at your own pace. So if you're ready to go faster, one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and. Now just play it. And you'll find it easier. You're going to do this with both hands, so stop the video and do and. Now we're going to do it with the beginning of my tune, Ice Crystals, which sounds like... So it's like that. Now what we're going to do, and if you're on a lap harp, it's up, it's up here. I'm in the key of C. Here. So, but what we're going to do now is do the power of and. We're going to pre-place on the and. and I have to go slow because it's really hard to do. So I'm doing this 158 here, and then I'm going up to what I call a cigarette pose. And I don't mean real cigarettes, they're gross, but I mean like the, the fantasy of the old movie stars that did this in the 40s and they thought it was glamorous. But it's it's that pose that they had with their hands. So the cigarette pose on the C, C, D, G. You can see it. Okay, so we're going to go from 158 to a cigarette pose on the C, and the same thing here. I'm going to go really slow because it's actually very hard to do this. So I'm doing a 158 and then that pose. One and two and three and. So try that. One and two and three and. This is this part is back and forth and the great thing about playing it is you have plenty of time. I'm resting here while the other hand plays. This one goes the same speed. But what we're gonna do is difficult now. We're gonna place on the end so I'm 
one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and. So try that. Uh, you can try it with me or you can stop the video. Stop the video. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and. and do that for a little while. And now you can combine it, that one five eight ground with this. So one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and. So do that a few times. If you'd like, I'll do it with you once and then you can stop the video. So I'll do it once with you and then you can stop and do it at your own pace. So you're on the one five eight. And you're on the C cigarette pose. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and. Now I'll show you how to apply it to something harder. This is a an arrangement of Blarney Pilgrim. I'm not expecting you to copy what I'm doing, but you can use this on one of your tunes. And I divided it between the two hands because I could never play something this fast on single strung harp. Never. But, you know, the cheater's harp double strung, you can divide it between the hands and make it sound fast. So. Okay, then that part doubles. Then there's. Good at this yet, but I'm starting to use this the power of and on it, and it is instant gratification, it gets so much easier. So, um, let's do, this is the really hard part I'm working on now. So, it's so hard for me to count that I don't even count, I don't care if it's exactly on an and, it just is quick placing. So, here's how you play. So, I'm gonna go instead of the pre-placing is crisp. Okay, and this is so. So that's the placing. Now, the next chord is so I'm going to go from this to a fast place on that. Instead of instead I'm going to go And just taking a small segment like that is fine. There, I got it. Much easier. So, take something of yours that's really easy at first, the parting glass or something like that. And do your power of and exercise on just even a phrase and then play it and notice how much easier it is. And I hope you use this a lot.